Hey guys, Stan Efferding here, founder of The Vertical Diet. I'm back today to talk about a study that found a method that was two times as effective as metformin for controlling diabetes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, first of all, metformin is an anti-diabetes drug. It's probably one of the most popular that's currently in use. The World Health Organization lists it on its essential medications list as one of the safest and most effective. I want to talk through briefly about the mechanisms of action of metformin. One of the first mechanisms of action happens in the liver, and it reduces glucose that's produced by the liver. Gluconeogenesis is, is reduced. Secondly, in the small intestine, it reduces glucose absorption from the intestine. And thirdly, in the muscles, it increases insulin sensitivity in cells. Now, there's some side effects associated with that. In the liver, uh, lactic acidosis is one of the side effects from that. In the small intestines, people can suffer from diarrhea and gas and nausea. Kind of reminds me of when Olestra was on the market, a fat substitute that was indigestible and so you ended up with diarrhea. And also, you've heard me talk about sugar alcohol, it's the same kind of thing. If it's indigestible, you end up with diarrhea or gas. And in the muscles, uh, it can cause some muscle weakness and pain. Having said that, as diabetes medications go, this is probably one of the safest with the least side effects. In the muscles, in particular, the metformin increases AMPK, which increases the number of GLUT4 receptors, so it can take in insulin directly, or take in uh, glucose directly from the bloodstream without the need of insulin. So it's effective in that way. It also decreases B12, and so one of the good ways that you can compensate for that is using, say, six ounces of steak has 500% of your daily B12, or three ounces of liver has 3,000% of your daily B12. One of the things I want to talk about before we get to the study is the gurus in the industry. Some people might remember, hopefully it's not still happening, but certainly some 10 years ago, a lot of the gurus were talking about using metformin to increase insulin sensitivity as a performance enhancing drug. Unfortunately, uh, when you start limiting glucose produced by the liver and you start not absorbing uh, your glucose from digestion from your intestines, that's not an optimal environment for you to, for performance, to produce uh, strength or uh, power or even endurance and so it was bad advice I myself tried it 10 years ago and that's why I put out the video of uh, medications that cause you to get weak I talked about third generation antiestrogens can certainly uh, decrease strength metformin is another one this is not a good drug for people to be using for performance it's used for uh, as an anti-diabetic medication for preventing people from getting diabetes or to help diabetics uh, use less insulin or suffer from uh, less side effects from onset diabetes. So what is the method that they used that they studied that was twice as effective as metformin? Well here it is. Turns out it was lifestyle. 10 minute walks. I've been promoting this for a few years now based a lot on this research. This was from the New England Journal of Medicine. This was a study that compared a placebo group to a metformin using group to a lifestyle group and showed how many incidences uh, they had of diabetes over the course of this study. The placebo group had 11 cases of diabetes out of 100 people that were studied. Metformin group had 7.8 and the lifestyle group had only 4.8 incidences of diabetes out of 100. So that was a reduction of 31% in the metformin group. It was a reduction of 58% in the lifestyle group. What was the lifestyle? The lifestyle was 150 minutes of exercise each week, which is about 20, 25 minutes a day. And the exercise was a brisk walk, of all things. It also included a 7% drop in body weight, which is significant. A uh, 300 pound person might have to lose about 20 pounds to comply with this, uh, to get this benefit from the lifestyle change. Now, one of the important things uh, to remember in terms of this lifestyle change is that frequency matters. And this study was done by Dr. Aaron Carroll at Healthcare Triage, where he actually talked about the study uh, where as blood sugars increase, so does uh, incidences of death, all-cause mortality. And along with uh, all-cause mortality and death comes sitting. The more you sit, the more all-cause mortality that you incur. And just working out once at the end of the day doesn't seem to solve that problem. It was studied. And I'll link the reference to Dr. Aaron Carroll's uh, video on healthcare triage, which is a YouTube site that has some excellent information that uh, demonstrates that the frequency matters. If you move, say, three or four minutes out of every hour, 
or as I like to recommend, you take a 10 minute walk after each meal. You can decrease blood sugars and dramatically improve your health outcomes. So that's the solution for a twice as effective method of controlling blood sugars and potentially preventing diabetes is the 10 minute walk. And I don't even recommend that to my clients as a weight loss method. I don't think cardiovascular training, treadmill, that kind of thing is terribly effective for weight loss. I recommend it for this very reason, to improve blood sugars, to improve digestion, just to improve general health. And we've had that effect and we've used it. I don't recommend any steady state cardio for any of the athletes that I train, whether it's somebody dieting for a bikini show or whether it's a 400 pound athlete that's trying to improve their health. I recommend these to improve their blood sugars. You all know I work with one of the most popular, a few of the most popular strong men in the world. Their uh, HA1C is 5.1. Diabetes or pre-diabetic starts around 5.7, 5.8, and their resting uh, or fasted blood glucose is 83. So those are some extraordinary numbers for people who weigh over 400 pounds, and all they're implementing in terms of actual cardiovascular fitness is 10-minute walks post-meal, because they're extraordinarily effective at controlling blood sugars. So there you have it, 10-minute walks versus metformin. And I'm not sure why my drawing here, I'm angry, but the biceps are big, so I'm happy about that. And as you know, as always, the vertical diet is available at stanefforting.com. And I go into all this research. It's over 250 pages with 200 references to videos and articles and peer-reviewed published research if you want to look it up. Thanks. See you next time.